Sensei doesn't only deport, he also buffs. Some people say, actually, that was not a buff. What do you think happened then, bro? She just started glowing out of nowhere. And then she reactivated the Divine Beast seal out of nowhere. You don't think Sensei did something to help her out? And in fact, don't you think that help could be defined as buff? The amount of neckbeards trying to argue on stupid, baseless, semantic definitions is the lowest form of intellectual masturbation. God damn, try to actually fucking figure out a logical point to argue against. What are we doing right now? The fallen angel of greed, gone. Sorry, it was gluttony, gone. Tama is with us now, and we're just basically going to a new area to figure out a new arc to begin. And Valdelia showed up for a bit. She clutched, right? This is the first time a dude didn't get deported. The dude literally just got <laughs> blown up by Valdelia. One of these days, I feel like she could show up and definitely be her ally. And Sensei definitely has the most interest in her backstory because it's got to be like the most tragic one. But let's begin today's reaction. <gasps> Eating a lot of pills. Gun's famous world truth. Protection? Are you capping? Sorry, Tama. You've already been power crept by Annette. I know for a fact Annette heard that from Tama, but continues to ignore her intentionally. <laughs> opening? No opening? No opening. Tonari. <laughs> Gamba? Gamba! Oh shit, this place got turned into a fucking resort. Okay, welcome to Zuniko, the town that loves the world tree of nature. This whole place has been just turned into a fucking gambler's resort now. Maybe the fallen angel of greed could be here then? Because of gambling and greed? <laughs> Sensei loves it. <laughs> Bald! <laughs> Sense is gonna have a fucking field day with the amount of gambler addicts, bro. That's just like lost their entire life savings on fucking slots like this guy. But hey, you're so close, bro. You're so close from winning everything back. You just spent your entire life net worth into the slot machine and you're gonna give up now? The next one will just make it all good, bro. Keep going. Don't give up. Never back down. Never what? Are we up? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> There's no more pills. Sensei ran out of pills. <laughs> Sensei addicted. <laughs> what are you collecting, Sensei? Pebbles? <laughs> That's actually really impressive that he's eating random pebbles off the ground. The durability of his teeth must be next level. <laughs> it's getting gentrified. Fallen Angel of Greed? Basically, the tourists took over the place. Huh. Well, they did say that the holy tree looks over the town, but like, I guess because of the existence of this corrupt gambling shit, the tree is also being corrupted. Or instead of a, a meaning like that, maybe there's like a deeper actual reason as to why like the casino and the tree is somehow connected and like we're sucking away its life force. I don't know. <laughs> Sensei does not care about this conversation. <laughs> Sensei is not listening at all. No. What are we doing here? Are we trying to find Sachi? Why are we helping this dude? What, what are, we, are we supposed to be heroes? I guess it's a good thing to do, to help her out, right? But I'm not thinking like, what do we get in return, old man? This. 
Give us more Calmelton sedatives and we'll help you. <laughs> oh, hero! Oh, what the hell is this guy? Immediately gives off White Knight vibes. Like the fucking uh, pretend hero that's always trying to be cool and good looking, like fucking Koki from Ari Furata or some shit. <laughs> A true hero? Yamada. He looks like a good guy. Yeah? He's a good person, finally? Wow. Yo, this is the guy that, like, they should have hired. I know Sensei's power is more suited for this, but, like, this guy actually cares. Like, holy shit. He seems good, but is this all an act? We'll see. <laughs> I didn't ask for you of this. I asked the other party. Oh, oh, oh. Sensei gone. Sensei gonna go gamble? Because he ran out of those Calmelton sedatives. So now this is peak performance Sensei. Up until now, if you think about it, he has been nerfed. He's been intentionally eating those sedatives, and he's been still this good. Just think about what happens when Sensei sobers up. <laughs> I must do something about this. <laughs> yeah? Cave is getting hotboxed. Literally hotboxing the cave. We're hot caving it. Everyone is high off the Zaza! <laughs> Please! He just wanna hit off the pipe! Give me that bong hoot, come on! <laughs> Please share some smoke with me! fuck is going on here? Also, just one second. Here we go. Hello, lady. Oni-san. Is Sensei easy to give him to his lust? What about Sachan? Yo, this girl though, out of fucking nowhere. Kinda seems evil. Oh, she's a bartender? <laughs> Living makes me so sad I can't bear it. Dude, the amount of animation quality they give into her fucking butt crack as she sits down is crazy. Oh, they straight up smoke in the world tree's leaves! The Zaza is the world tree lead. You get high off that shit. Sensei, what is Sensei? Yeah, will you? Oh my god. How? Despite how I seem, I'm a dancer. With all due respect. I'm not surprised, lady. <laughs> Look what you're wearing. Let's not, let's not get it twisted. I'm surprised there's not a pole in this bar that you're not fucking dancing off of right now at this moment. Alright, let's see it. Does Sensei like it? I don't know what this reaction. He's shocked? He's disgusted? Surprised? I don't know. Uh, past work. Dancing girl of Izu. I'm gonna assume uh, that this is a failed work of his, and that's why he's traumatized. Oto? Is Oto here? Imagine this is Oto, bro. It'd be so fucking funny. A oh, different author? Why was he so mad about the different author's book? Because it was better than his? He said that he sent like death threats to different authors before when he was talking to Waldaria, but. In my head, this is Oto in a disguise, yes. Oh! 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 It's like flamenco guitar! Sensei, you watching? I'm watching, Sensei! 
Sensei enjoys it. This is not gonna help me sleep at night. It's gonna be more pent up. You better do something about this. <laughs> Just remember, you complain about this shit. I don't want to hear it, bro. Free to play players complaining about ads is always so fucking cringe to me. <laughs> Would Annette try to dance? Imagine Annette was there and she felt like she got cucked by that other girl. <laughs> Let's see Annette dancing too. <laughs> Did he bring her home? Did he bring her home? She brought him home! <laughs> <laughs> she a dancer. <laughs> How did he fall asleep? From the liquor? I'm not sure. But, hmm. Eshe. You're not supposed to be here. She hides her face, which is pretty funny because it's just like. You're not hiding shit, you know? You're, look what she's wearing. She just barely covers her face. I guess she's just trying to cover her face. For whatever reason, she's not supposed to be here. She's banished. I don't know. What do you mean ruined? Yeah. This guy's power is building houses. Wait, D3? Or just holding the bridge? This guy's glowing, and the building's being built. <laughs> Look! That's pretty cool. Smart! Smart business move! I mean, I feel like... Yes, it is actively destroying this town, I guess, if we're siding with the tourists and gambling. But, like, that's a smart business decision to open a bar right next to the gambling hall. That's so smart. Asian history unknown. Asian unknown. Uh-oh. What if this is not what she actually looks like? It's some different... Being, bro. I mean, shit, man. How many of you guys are following the current drama with content creators and popular streamers taking brand deals from Saudi Arabia regarding their esports campaign right now? You guys know what sports washing is? Anyone following this recent drama? I've been just getting into it. And like, oh man. Like, obviously, it, it's like Team Liquid. It's so funny. Team Liquid has like a rainbow profile picture, right? On their Twitter because they're supposed to be LGBTQ friendly. But then they took a deal from Saudi Arabia because the money was so much. And at the end of the day, it really goes to show that like all these social justice and good ethics and morals goes out the window as soon as money is just shown, bro. I mean... She sided with the evil to make money, yeah. And during these situations, just say you did it to take the bag, bro. People like it when you're just brutally honest, right? There's something endearing about a dude, even if he does like morally ambiguous shit. And even if you know that he's might be doing an unethical and immoral shit. They just said, you know what? I like money and I'm doing it. I think the, uh, the royal prince of Saudi Arabia, right? The crown prince, Muhammad uh, bin... S I don't want to fucking butcher his name, but... That guy basically was in an interview and people were saying shit like, So, uh, are you sports washing? Sports washing is a term where you use sports to erase, like, controversies of your nation or different prejudices or immoral shit going on. Like, Olympics is a prime example of it, right? And just hosting these kind of events really makes better PR for your area. So, sports washing is a term, again, is to use sports to make your region seem a little more, uh, accepted by society and they're like so do you do you agree that you know you're sports washing and then <laughs> the prince was like listen man i know this is a gotcha situation where you want me to look bad but if that means 1.1 percent gdp growth year after year then fuck it i'm sports washing and there's something again so compelling about a dude that's just so honest with it yes we can all acknowledge that you know 
the things that they've done, you know, if you've been following the different drama, different political assassinations, all the evil shit. Yeah, gambling, alcohol, bad, bad. But something about just brutally just saying, I'm honest, I'm just chasing the bag. That's more to people than people that take the deal and say, oh, you know, and then they try to make excuses around it, right? Basically, if you want to do this shit like this, just say you're fucking chasing the bag. Just be honest. Don't try to fucking hide around and try to fucking make it seem like you're doing some sort of holy cause. <laughs> With that said, I too am going to be taking a sponsorship from Saudi. No, I'm kidding, not yet. I am suspicious about this guy. This guy's off, man. He seems nice. What if he's the actual big bad guy here? Sensei's awake, actually. What's Sensei thinking about? The dance. Sensei's next story that he's probably going to be very interested in is Eshiz, right? Probably. To go see the dance again. Sensei's going to go drink and gamble. <laughs> yes, Sensei! You'll save him? Nah, we know how this show goes. Sensei is not down bad on the alcohol and gambling. There's something else he's doing right now, most likely with the sad story of Eshe and how this compels him to write a story. I like witches. Oh. <laughs> Just on the rim. Oh my goodness. Okay. I like them witches. Cheers. There's a spirit on top of this shit? The wishes of the weak and the sick will be granted and they'll be saved. I want to believe that Eshe is the spirit. Because she seems to be this mysterious person that's just been around for a long time that doesn't age. She's got to be the spirit, right? Double suicide pact? Oh? The dance? But... <laughs> Wow, that's a great pause. I didn't think that human body could distort like that. But <laughs> that's crazy. But is it like she had like a sadness in her face and Sensei wants to put like, uh, I don't know, like make her saved or some shit? Ureini. Yeah, face filled with sadness during the dance. This is Big Boss? He's scared about his Yakuza member. <laughs> Wait, what is this? Ant Lion? Wait, his power is like a gauntlet that looks like an insect? What the fuck? Ant Lion. Nako <laughs> Saka, can you use something? Give me the money! Yes, <laughs> Oh, that's the big boss. All right, the, the big chunky boy is the big, big boss. And this is like, you know, big boss. The other villagers. <laughs> oh, man, bro. The extra strong leads in the world tree. They just got that good Zaza and get them hooked up for fucking Gamba, bro. It's a wrap. Where's the llama dudes here? <laughs> hmm. That's interesting. Oh, shit. She's Nami. This is Arlong Park and she's Nami. She's being hated by her own people, but they don't know that she's literally protecting them with her own sacrifice. Aw. 
。おお、サブ、試しに何人かさらってきて、葉っぱ吸わす。<笑> Hey Sabu, who kidnapped a few folk and given that good, good shit? Alright, boss, you got it. Get off me, bitch! No, I shave! Yeah, we don't call you witches, we call you bitches. No, <laughs> what, what, what do we call her instead of witches then? Ooh. Angel! E. M. T. Eche. Mega. Angel. E. M. T. Works here, bro. The world tree? What? Oh, what? The hero did that? Man, I guess like this guy genuinely is a good person, and we're not getting set up for something. Like, he's straight up just. Destroying this casino! He's part of our squad now! He's just hanging around! What's your cheat skill? I'm not too sure because he called her a greedy witch, but I think he has good intentions. Now, what's his super cheat skill? Wait, 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 hold the fuck up. Sensei versus White Knight? What's going on? Okay. This is kind of weird. I feel conflicted because, again, I don't feel like this guy is necessarily bad. But the way that he is approaching things does kind of seem bad. Even like. Is calling Eshe like a greedy witch without knowing anything. And Sensei's kind of right. He might be kind of just like all about empty platitudes and looking heroic and saying grandiose things without actually understanding what's going on. But I don't know. I feel like this is just a misunderstanding, but it looks like a sun versus the moon situation here. <laughs> I thought we were gonna go head to head. He just fucking sits on the side <laughs> on his fucking statue, bro. Based? Okay. How do we do that, right? Sensei doesn't lecture? He doesn't really. Sensei just listens, right? Sensei listens to people's stories and what they're about and then offers them like a different perspective, kind of? Let's see it, Yamada! Ant Lion! <laughs> like, Yamada should be able to win against these dudes. If Yamada loses here, this is gonna be so embarrassing, bro. Like, dude, you look at this dude with the pink fucking bald mohawk going on. The side... I don't even know what this is called, like... There's no way Yamada loses. <laughs> Easy! Justice judgment. <laughs> <laughs> Justice judgment. Oh. One more time, one more time, one more time. Justice judgment. <laughs> yeah, the voice acting is amazing. Even from the beginning when he showed up, his voice acting was kind of funny. Because he was all trying to be like a white knight and shit, but that Justice judgment. <laughs> What have a blade. She's trying to save the town too. What the other dudes wouldn't cross the bridge and fuck them up. Sensei, step in! Eshe is the savior. Not Yamada. Hold up, something doesn't feel right. Sensei, do something. <laughs> and then they're gonna shit on her on top of that. This is fucked up. <laughs> Poor girl. Oh my god, bro! Yeah, we should kill them all here too. We should burn this village down. Yep. Mm hmm.
I'm thinking, you know what, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking we burn this shit down, uh huh, and then take all the fucking leaves too. <laughs> Here comes Sensei. Yeah, it's a little bit of a doomer pill thing to say, but most human beings, bro, we are just fucking selfish, self absorbed, just dumb, ignorant monkeys, myself included. Sensei. Mm. None of you know the truth. She literally protected. She was the shield. Spit the facts, Sensei. This ain't right, man. What's more fucked up is that it's not that she's being walked, you know, jeered away right now with the rest of the villagers insulting her. It's the fact that I'm just looking at how well the butt crack is animated as she walks away right now. <laughs> Yamada, what are you gonna do about this, man? Is this the justice that you're looking for? You know something is wrong. Fucking user name technique on them. Justice judgmental. <laughs> Probably. This is almost like a lesson for Yamada as well, huh? It sucks that, like, Eshe, I don't know if this is the end of Eshe, but, like, this is a good learning experience for Yamada, and since they literally planned this shit. Righteousness and evil. Hazy thing. Too deep for me, Sensei. Yes. What? Slay Eshe? This episode is so interesting. And now they decided to, you know, basically just redistribute their product as well at the end of the day. And you're no different from the other world of gamblers, man. Huh. What an interesting episode. We're starting to realize that all the reasons for saving these people, they were never justified. The, right, the, the line, the fine line between righteousness and evil, very blurred right now. And Sensei's lesson here is showing Yamada that it's not that simple, bro. You acting like a hero, like a white knight hero, look what you've done. The people that you protected are just as fucking evil and, and, and angry. And even the village leader is saying, let's just fucking start selling the Zaza again. What did you exactly save? Who did you save? Your own pride? Your own fucking, like, I don't know, position as a white knight? Eshe fucking took it all and now she's walking away after sacrificing everything and getting nothing in return. Holy! Nah, bro. Burn this shit down, bro. Fuck it, I'm leaving. All these dudes can fucking die. I don't care. Look at that. Immediately went into the fucking bar and is just drinking. You're no different from the gamblers. It's just that there was a stronger force that was, you know, occupying your place and you couldn't- Nah, dude. All these people. Justice. Dude. <laughs> it's doomsday. We, it's, it's judgment day. Divine justice. Bring upon them justice right now, Yamada. Look at them. They're chasing after gold bricks. <laughs> 60% and I'm in. What a lesson, bro. I feel so bad for Eshe, though. Like, Eshe's just gone and she just walks away after being chased out by the one people that she was trying to protect. What a fucking thankless job. And I wonder if she, at the end of the day, was the spirit of the Divine World Tree. 
I don't know, but damn, that sucks. なんかすっきりしない終わり方だったわね。先生は全て分かっていたのですね。山田君には大層なことを言ったが、僕も同じだよ。彼女を救う先生。You tried though. You showed them all wrong. Smoke amber? Suit? Suit? Shit's burning. World tree is burning. Someone is burning the world tree? Because they got all corrupt? It's not about the burning, but rather the people have become so fucked up and evil that the leaves are representing that. Man, there is no holiness here. It's all gone. That's impressive. Like the other world is here. The amount of decay and corruption was pretty slow. But as soon as these motherfuckers took over, literally... <laughs> Within a single like hour, like everything's just falling down. Deserve truly enjoy. <laughs> the spirit, Eshe? It's gotta be her, right? Of course, it was her. Yeah. Oh, her hair is actually green. She got butterfly wings. Hey, that's not so bad, is it? That's the end. <laughs> she refilled his fucking sentence. <laughs> May you find some peace, Sensei. Here's some more fucking painkillers and sedatives. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Divine Spirit of the World Tree. That's very kind of you. We're back, baby. Wait, 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 wait. What was the lore again? When the spirit of the world tree descends. Is it descending right now? Well, the leaves are falling down. So, sorry, it's the spirit of the world tree descending. And yes, she has descended. I mean, she literally graced us. And our wishes is to have a refill in the sedatives. We're back, baby. No more sober, healthy life. <laughs> Sensei has acquired infinite. It's not a one time refill. This is an infinite refill. This shit's never gonna go up. Oh my god. Eshe. Thank you so much. Sayonara. And that's the episode of Isekai Shikaku this time, man. And wow, what an, what an interesting episode. It's a self contained story with kind of a sad ending. But the lessons that we learned, what did we learn? It's that righteousness and evil is very blurred. And Yamada was the perfect conduit to kind of deliver that narration. Because Yamada thought that he was just saving everybody, right? It seemed good. Gambler's bad. Eshe, greedy witch, right? Oh my god, but you didn't actually understand what was going on. Eshe was literally the spirit of the world tree, trying to make sure that the people of this place could survive and to maybe hope for a better future she protected them by having the gamba people pay you know she paid them like a protection fee through the fucking the the bar and that and this is what she gets they threw rocks at her at the very end she gets outcasted and just like that the tree also falls down right the world tree is just so corrupted all the people here there's no counterbalancing force it's just you're all fucking corrupt every one of you are just as bad as the gamma people and sensei knew that from the beginning that us humans bro every one of us just living beings we're greedy pathetic creatures just looking out for each other but this one girl that was trying to be her best for the people the one girl, the one person, the one thing that wasn't thinking about themselves is the one that gets outcast. It truly shows you the disgusting nature of humanity. And Yamada realizing that was fucking peak. His voice acting was also amazing. The justice judgment. It's fucking hilarious. But beyond just, you know, SJ fan service, a lot of booba shaking around, right? And the funny moment to Yamada. This episode was very deep. This is an amazing episode, like... So concise, just, you know, self-contained story, delivered a, a very bittersweet lesson at the end, too, and we're off to the next part. That's it for me. If you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.